All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to extract that because I don't want to delete these. I might come back and use some stuff out of here. So what we do, we extract, do it. Now we just have this. So now let's do some chopping regions. So that's why I like to um, make sure I, before I chop, I want to make sure that the the um, the loop is a perfect loop, like it loop perfectly. So that way, when you go to chop it, you can just use regions or you can use BPMs, and that'll make it chop perfectly. Cause the So let's go back to the grid and let's record something. So we got to put them on the line, make them all match up right here. All I have to do is control A and hit uh, control T, I think it is, but it's moving to 16. So let's go to eighth, control T, control Z, let's go to fourth and control T. There we go. All right. Let's add some RC20 to it. Or instead of RC20, let me add uh, that thing to it. It's called that thing right here. I had this plugin forever, way before RC20. Do the same kind of little, you know what I mean? some drums to it then we'll come back and add another sound to it so let's go here um <laughs> all right let's go ahead and add that That's how I wanted that. I need something that go. I'm going to find it. We're going to find it. So let's go in. Go back to our uh, drums. Even if we don't find it, we can stretch it. Stretch something to make it go. So we're going to reverse it and then make a. I can even use the same hi-hat that I get to do. If it got a tail. So let's go find the hi-hat. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. There you go.
some kind of bass now. Retrospective record. Let's go. Turn it up!